I have these words that come from the book of Malachi, the last book in the Old Testament and the last chapter of the last book. He speaks of the son of righteousness arising with healing in his wings. The son of righteousness arising with healing in his wings. And in this case, the word son is spelled S-U-N. So appropriate in this time of the summer solstice, when there is a solar event that we're a part of. But the solar event is not just something happening outside ourselves. There's a solar event within ourselves. The sun of righteousness is arising within us with healing in his wings. What a beautiful image. I read a biblical scholar who said that actually in Hebrew, the word son is feminine. So the phrase might be translated, the son of righteousness arises with healing in her wings. But I believe it works either way. So here's a piece of sacred scripture that has been used by two of the great faiths of our contemporary culture, by the Jewish faith and by the Christian faith. I'm not entirely sure what's made of this verse, though I read a little bit. I think probably by most Christians and most Jewish people, it's hardly noticed. But it is interesting how these symbolical words that create an allegory for an experience of reality are taken as if the symbology of the words is the thing itself. The son of righteousness. Well, a Christian might say, well, that's Jesus. But it is spelled S-U-N. Somebody else might say, well, it's a re reference to the sun and the solar system. And well, it might be. But still, since when did our sun and the solar system rise with healing in its wings. There's a parable here or an allegory, a metaphor, if you will, a pattern of symbology to speak to us of things awesome and dreadful, wonderfully dreadful and wonderfully strange, to tell us something of reality. We can embrace it as religious text, with some kind of religious fervor, religious as a part of some kind of religious dogma. Or we can reject it because we see it that way. In both case, cases, miss the point. And here we have right in front of us, hiding in plain sight, a truth of our reality that I would like